America, I ask you once more to please all rise for the Honorable Tim G. Jacob as he presides here on the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. Absolutely. Put it on something. Your um, honorable one, I, yeah. I, I have a case to present to you. Okay. It involves a team that plays ball out there in the state of Arizona. Mm -hmm. That team being the Phoenix Suns. Mm -hmm. uh, they have been underwhelming. They're a team that is uh, supposedly a good mixture of veteran leadership and young, hungry, up-and-coming talent. Mm -hmm. okay? A coach who is well-respected. They've had prior success with yeah. the NBA Finals appearance. But as we see right now, with injuries and back and forth between one of the key players and the head coach, and we have a, a glue guy who's on the outs, we see that they are underwhelming. So, sir, what is your judgment in this case? Uh, just go ahead and blow it all up. Start all over. Start it all over. Just blow it up. This, this, listen. They probably should have started blowing it up after Dallas did what they did to him last year. Ooh. After that bad, that bad number seventy-seven did what they he did to him. Ooh. I think it's time for them to go on and regroup. Um, I, I get and see this franchise is one of those franchises that on the on the on the on the surface it looks sweet, but they've got a lot going on internally. Oh, I and I forgot. I'm sorry, sir. I forgot to mention what the team owner situation was. The sorry the sorry situation, and it's just and it's just and it's just and again, you know. This team had a window. They truly had a window. They got to the finals against Sir Giannis, mm -hmm. came up short. Last year, was it last year? I'll say that was two years ago, right? Giannis mm -hmm. won it. So, okay, so last year, people expect him to get back. They were very good. But then Lucas said, hold my beer. They got to blow this up. I know Booker is in 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 the queue for a while. He's got he's got his money, but they're gonna have to move off. They they should have moved off of CP3. They should have started like really looking for his next for his replacement. Mm -hmm. Like go ahead, bust his ego a little bit, make him feel some type of way because this young blood is over over your head. Or or does Chris Paul want to teach this young man how to be the next point guard? However you want to slice it. Mm -hmm. they they going to have to move on with this team. And there's potential here for them to, to grow and be successful. If they get, the, if they make the right moves, Phoenix, get a guard of the future. Now I'll tell you like this. I like that kid, Dwayne Washington. I like him. Mm -hmm. Good guard came from Ohio state. Now is he a all time great guard? Like got that trajectory? No. But I like his style of play. I like his game. Mm -hmm. Mikhail Bridges has taken a step up. He's been the consistency mm -hmm. of that team. He's been the most consistent. He come to work. He gonna defend. He improved his shot, which I don't understand how most guys in the leagues can't seem to do that. But Mikhail Bridges has improved across the board and has been playing well. Now they missed Cam Johnson at the beginning of the year. He's coming back. Okay, so you got Cam Johnson, Macau Bridges. Not a bad, not a bad duo. They're gonna have to move off the DeAndre Aiden thing. That's that situation just ain't gonna go. It's just not gonna work. Him and Monty, they're never gonna set horses. It's never gonna work out. Aiden's just Aiden's probably just playing because he loves the ball, but that relationship is frayed, and it's just time to just sell high. Right. It's just time to sell high on it. It's time to just blow this team up. And Phoenix, I think, would be better suited. If Booker's going to be the guy, Booker, you be the guy. But a lot of glue around Booker. A lot so of guys. The, so Book is the only one off limits. He, he's the only one let that him, I would, let him be I would, the cornerstone. and he'd be the cornerstone. All right. Uh, He'd be the guy that has the MVP trajectory and everything. 
and I think that's gonna that's gonna show you it's gonna it's gonna be one of it's one of the situations this is how I think of it. Booker, if you're that great, it's gonna be your turn to lead the ship. You love Bean, you idolize Bean and all these things that you proclaim that you are. You part of the Mamba Academy, you're gonna have to take a step forward, just like Jason Tatum did this year. Tatum has been a monster this year. Mm. A monster. Because he's he's worked on his game. Nothing bothers him now. See, that's the difference between Tatum and Booker right now. That's why I would say if, if all the guys that say they love being Tatum's the closest. Because Tatum don't care nothing about who up on him right now. He you know done, you're hurting my heart right now. He done bulked up. Hey. Because he could could have, should have been a like. Yeah, I know. I know. It's all right. It's all right. He even wore the armband to you. He did wear the armband. He sure did. With the Boston uniform on. He ain't that, that a, ain't ain't that that a bitch. And ain't Not nobody cool. got a word to say in Boston. Ain't nobody about to say a word. Ain't going to say nothing. They you know, know what they got. They know what they got. Yes, sir. That boy hooped. That man is hooping. He said, I didn't show up. Like talking about in these finals. I'm coming back. And when I come back, I got smoke for everybody. Without the head coach. Without Eme. Without Eme. They said, look, we're not going to let that distraction fuck up nothing. Tatum These say, I got boys it. over here got a coach. Ain't got no scandal. Money. Money. Good family man. They say you're a good Christian man, everything like that. Him and Aiden, goddamn it, boy. They didn't have some Aiden. words on that sideline. Yeah, them boys didn't. I think it's just, I think, I think, and this is why this is the thing. If Monty is your guy, if Monty is your coach, if you saying Monty, you're it, okay? The organization has to say, Booker, you're the man. Aiden, we'll get what we can get for you. Construct around that with Bridges and Cam Johnson and such. Play positionless basketball. Do like Denver. And just get glue guys around your centerpiece. Now, granted, yoga's just skill set is totally different. And, and, they, and they, they are using that to a T. But Book has to take that step forward. Book got to become that dog, basically. Mm -hmm. He got to become that dog. He can't be down there getting fouled on one end and then doing this to the refs and then the play is going on. Because he, do, he does it too much, in my opinion, look, mm. looking for the call. Tatum don't look for no call like that. Not right now. Because Tatum like, hey, I done beefed up. You too little. And you too little. And you too little. Give me the ball. Mm. He going to get buckets. And we know what book can do. We know what kind of how he can fill it up. He can go get you 70. He can go get you 70. Yeah. So Book got to get himself right body-wise. And they, they got to construct glue around. They got to construct the right people. Remember, they used to be lifting weights in the hallway after the game, T. Remember that? The sun. Remember all them clips after the game? They'll show the sun come off the court and start lifting weights in the hallway. And I don't know if I ever seen that. I'm gonna have to send it to you because a lot of folks start that. once they got once they lost to the Mavs in that fashion, a lot of folks start clowning their ass about all this shit. Folks, you know, try to say they get look at y'all, y'all just carrying on. Look at this shit. Well, y'all doing the most right now. It's time to come off of Paul was great, but Paul's just too old. And it's just time, it's just time to start looking towards the future. It's time to just blow it up. Go holler at the Raptors for Gary Trent Jr. or OG or Aguanobi. Or uh, go holler at some of these guys that's on the uh, that may be potentially on the outs or teams trying to wholesale. It's just time. Mm -hmm. It's time to move. It's time to go get some glue guys, build, take you a year or two, and get and give money some pieces of play, some players that want to play play for money. Mm -hmm. It's time to blow it up. It's just time to blow it up. Now, I might come back here in about two months. They get everybody back and book us back. Everybody's healthy. It might be a totally different team. But right now, what I see right now is embarrassing. Didn't the, the seas kind of fix themselves last year around this time? The Celtics. Uh, so, like, they had, they started yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They started out rough in the All Star before All Star break. And then they got it right. And then they, and just, they just got the thing rolling. So maybe they figured out, you know, maybe they get healthy, you know, book. Got what it got growing or some shit right he's now. Got a, he's four weeks, 
four weeks with a groin injury. But they tell us everybody bigger, stronger, faster. I'll tell you, this type of shit ain't supposed to be happening to these athletes today, boy. This is a different athlete today. That's what they keep telling us. Well, now when it comes to Booker, I don't know about bigger and such. I don't know if he really wants to get in that weight room for real, for real. That's what I'm just saying. I'm just quoting folks like our, our young boy Antoine Dixon and, yeah. and, and Nick Wrights of the world. You know, everybody bigger, stronger, faster today, you know. Yeah, that's all cute. That's all cute. That's all cute. But you know, I wonder what I wonder how high of a, a resale value a Corvette or a Mustang got once you get it off the lot. You know, them folks be them cars, right? Right. What's the resale value on them in about 10 years? But you got them Hondas out there still holding strong. I'm just saying, I'm just making a comparison, you know. Hey, well, my 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 car in the shop <laughs> right now, and I'm having to ride around in my wife on the goddamn. It, it getting me up and down that highway. Hey. It, it getting me up and down that highway. But America, hey. y'all chime in. Do y'all agree with the honorable one, Tim G. Jacob, that they need to blow up the sun? Okay. Or do you think they need to keep it together, given the fact that hey, just a couple years back they win the finals? Let us know what y'all think. All right. Put it on something. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay. How do I do it?